The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Generals gathered in their masses Just like witches He aligns himself masses. with the truth And it's time for you to choose a side You're listening to Alex Jones Sorcerer of death's construction the body's burning Minds. Official Cynthia McKinney at Facebook. And she's with us right now. Holder claims vast amount of discretion in enforcing federal laws. And Obama more than ever is acting as an executive branch dictatorship, which they'll pass on to the Republicans. That's why the Republicans haven't really been uh, trying to shoot any of this power grab down because the special interests that own both parties. Want authoritarianism. Look at how the CIA, in every case, doesn't put in new good elected governments. They put in dictatorships. They put in Al-Qaeda. They, they overthrow Ukraine. And then Russia grabs a tiny part of it, and they say Russia invaded. And I'm not romanticizing Russia. It's just the facts, folks. The U.S. with NATO attacked Russia in 888 in Georgia. And CNN... 
that was a big learning experience for me that morning when I woke up. My wife's like, look, uh, Russia's attacked Georgia. And I walk in at like 7.30 in the morning, turn on the TV, and CNN's reporting Russia has attacked Georgia. And it took me two hours to look at foreign press, and they later admitted it, that, the, that they'd attacked Russian military bases on the border and killed everybody. I mean, folks, that's dangerous media when they do stuff like that. And, and I wanted to go back to Cynthia McKinney because I know she's very well traveled around the world. Uh, we can pull up articles where they now admit in the Christian Science Monitor, you name it, that Libya is, is a hellhole compared to an oasis that it was to, for, for the development of Africa. In the Coney 2012 scam, they're now invading eight different African countries for resources. Afrikan is a con. And look, you got to have Obama as the front man to do it. If Bush would have tried it, no one would have ever gone along with this. Cynthia, I just threw out the waterfront on international situation. What do you want to get into first? Well, um, you know, Ukraine it demonstrates the purposeful destabilization policy of the United States. And so now, and you're right to point out that these things are being done um, by fiat, really. You know, if you got fiat money, <laughs> you can government by fiat as well. But you've got the death penalty for U.S. citizens by executive order. And you also got the death penalty for entire countries. That's what we are witnessing. And um, so Ukraine might not ever be the same again. Look at the destruction that's going on in Syria. I was in Syria at the time that um, Assad granted the interview to Fox and Dennis Kucinich was there. And, um, you know, there were bombs going off, but I, I, was I, I got some experience in that. But I noticed how some people were running and cringing and crouching and, you know, um, every time there was this big thunderous jolt to the hotel that we were in, um, but but um, Syria is not going to be the same again um, for a very long time. And um, so you can just go right down the line. And, you and you're pointing out that's the mission is destabilization. It's wreck the country, the break it in three parts, turn Al Qaeda uh, you know, over to be in control and then lecture us to give our rights up all day because Al Qaeda is hiding under the desk. Now, what I've done, um, and you know that I've taken a break, a one hour break, just so I could talk to you. And then I'm going to turn immediately back to my PhD work. And I'm working on Venezuela. One of the things that came out of WikiLeaks, and I've gone through all of the documents, some 2,200 documents on um, Hugo Chavez, um, greatly sanitized, I have to say. But I'm, I'm happy that we at least have these documents to look at whether they're sanitized or not, because they can't sanitize everything out of them. And um, this organization uh, from the Global Intelligence Files, which were the Stratfor, which is right there in Texas, um, the Stratfor uh, Intelligence emails that were sent out um you discover that there's this whole sort of backwash of u.s policy this is not anything new because it happened in the cointel pro program but it seems now to have been outsourced to these various you know shadowy organizations blackwater or whatever you know and then they do the dirty work, but it's still at the end of the day paid for by us taxpayers. So um, what I um, have discovered is that the Otpor that helped in the destabilization of Serbia, which led then to the downfall of Milosevic, and that's uh, someone that I met, I was on that congressional delegation that was led by, well, um, it was um, a delegation that had members of Congress on it that was led by Holbrook. And um, so we sat there and I had a chance to meet Milosevic. And unfortunately, you know, this is the way our government seems to operate is that you get these members of Congress who really don't know anything other than what they've been told by the very people who are creating the problem. And then they go in and 
spout the same stuff without having done the background work. Well, anyway, Milosevic is brought down. This organization, Otpor, establishes a relationship. The leadership of Otpor establishes a relationship with the folks at Stratford. And then before you know it, you've got the exact same thing happening. Now it's happening in Venezuela. So Otpor has a playbook. And if we look at the playbook, then we can see it happening. We can see it being implemented in Ukraine, in Iran, in Libya, uh, over and over and over again. So now the people that the people, the, the, the question that the people of the United States have to ask themselves is, is this what we want our government to do? Is this something that we are proud of as citizens of the United States? Is our government acting with our values as it acts in our name? And if the answer is no, then we have to do something about it. We have to resist. We have to find our courage. We have to find that courage, overcome the fear once we've informed ourselves and say, okay, we're going to do something different. And so that's why one of the things I, I really probably shouldn't say anything because I haven't, you know, sort of uh, sourced this out yet. But this finish is codifying it all. Yeah. Yeah. But this is my idea. My idea is they want us to maintain walls of separation among the people of the United States, among the people who are footing the bill. No, no, they admit divide and conquer. Do. They admit divide and conquer. Yeah, that's the. So why not have some of us come together and go around the United States? Let's have someone from the extreme, extreme far right. They cut, they're telling me that the militia is my enemy. I don't know that that militia is my enemy. And I guarantee you, if I talk to people who are part of the militia, maybe we'll find out that there's at least some level uh, at which we can work. Oh, together. Cynthia, the real militia guaranteed listening to you right now agrees with almost everything you're saying. And, and again, that's what the issue is. They want everybody scared to death. There's the Ron Paul Realty Party that was bullhorning Republicans and Democrats. Then the Republicans tried to take that over to get the Democrats to hate it, to create another divide and conquer, that failed. So now the Republican leadership of the Democrats has given money to kill the real Tea Party. And then they don't want, quote, minorities to think they could be pro-gun or they could be pro-sovereignty. This is how they've done a number on everybody. And But we have pro-gun marches that have got everybody out there and we love it. And it scares the system. But briefly getting back to Stratford, we've been over there probably 10 times in the last decade trying to get an interview from these people. And they always have their security guards throw us out. In fact, we ought to show that sometime. But the point is, is that Stratford, when the emails came out, and we have it up on screen, uh, wanted to show Bin Laden body photos to shut up lunatics like Alex Jones and Glenn Beck saying it was fake. And then we track back people that it looks like are connected into them once all that comes out, trying to then say that I work for them. So see, that's how sophisticated COINTELPRO is, is that when it came out, they had operations to discredit us. Immediately, all these people started saying we were with them to smokescreen the fact that, that this CIA front group was coming after me. See how sophisticated that is? Well, it's very sophisticated. And that's why we have to be able to snuff it out and smell it out. And the only way we can know what's in the playbook is to study what's in the what's been in the playbook in the past. And this kind of they call it bad jacketing, where they put out a lie. That in fact, a member of the American Indian movement, Anna Mae Pictou Aquash, was murdered because they said that she wasn't an FBI informant. And all she was was a very promising leader for the American Indian movement. Amazing. Well, that's why Cass Sunstein at the White House said create infighting. And that's why anybody you see out there who isn't talking about issues, who isn't talking about freedom, who isn't talking about the basic Bill of Rights, but who's talking about infighting all day and attacking other people, you can bet your bottom dollar they're the real operative. They're the real informant. Well, now that's why I decided that once I finish with this very intense work that I'm doing right now, 
um, I would like to reach out to four or five folks. And then we just travel all different political persuasions 